Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about my four favorite Home Assistant Hacks integration. That's the Home Assistant Community Store integrations. Um, and these might be integrations or front ends. I'm going to start with a couple of front ends and finish with a couple of uh, integrations. So without further ado, here we go. Number four on my list is the wall panel. So this is a front end that you can use within Home Assistant and works great when you're gonna put an iPad or a tablet of any type on the wall. And you don't wanna have it look like this is just you know an iPad running um, you know, the Home Assistant app. You wanna really tidy it up and make it look like it's really meant for that panel. So the wall panel, you know, tidies up around the edges. You can hide, you know, the, the sides and top and that type of thing and really just show your dashboard. So you could really flex your dashboarding muscles there, make everything look great and not have all that clutter and make it look, you know, seamless as though it's really meant for that device. And that device was meant to, to serve up Home Assistant dashboards like that. So number four on my list is that wall panel. And we're going to go through another another front end and then we're going to get into those integrations so stay tuned so you don't miss those number three is the mushroom front end and that's because i'm not a huge fan of a lot of the cards that are in the stock home assistant but i'm not looking to do a lot of development myself i want something that just works you know shout out paul hibbert um, because that's what home assistant it's supposed to do just work so we have the mushroom front end that we can use those cards and make it look really nice and have those integrations that we don't have to worry about. Um, you know, how are we gonna fit this? What does this look like? We can utilize these cards and it just looks great. So definitely rec recommend the mushroom front end and hacks if you haven't already looked at that one. And it's a pretty easy, you know, setup and um, integration and right in your dashboard, you'll have, you know, awesome looking, um, you know, cards that can fit a lot of places that some of the um, standard cards, you know, I think struggle to fit or look quite right. So definitely look into the mushroom um, front end. All right, now we're going to move over to the integrations. Number two on my list is Sodoff. And in this one, you know, we don't have a lot of devices there or anything, but again, this is just another instance of it just works and it's local and it's easy. So we do have our pull timer set up on that and it's been great where we can, you know, tell one of our assistants to do it, you know, the Google assistant or the Amazon assistant, or if you want to utilize the HomePods, you can do that and you can work with whatever function, you know, whatever, um, you know, assistant you have there, or if you want to utilize the Home Assistant app, um, whatever, you know, really suits your fancy, you could go ahead and utilize and it's a really, you know, seamless integration and it just works and it's quick and responsive and local. I mean, what else can you ask for there? And my number one integration from the hacks is Alarmo. I mean, what, what better integration is there in hacks than the security alarm that is integrated right in home assistant works flawlessly, has tons of options. You can customize it. You can integrate it with different automations. You can do whatever you really want with it. It's a great setup. It's superior, in my opinion, to what is set up natively in SmartThings. And that's, you know, that seemed to be a core competency for a long time at SmartThings. But Alarmo just blows it out of the water, in my opinion. The customization that you have there and the way you can set it up and display it, uh, it just, it doesn't get any better than that. And you can have it integrated with all of your other devices that are integrated within Home Assistant, which really opens up the platform to, uh, you know, way more devices than you could ever do in smart things with all the different integrations and community building things for Home Assistant, um, you know, perpetually. So definitely the number one integration from Hacks and, you know, far better than anything else that I've come across in Hacks is Alarmo. And definitely recommend if you don't have that on your home assistant setup that you go get that now. Um, you know, these are all free things that you can just go out, go download, install, and it works flawlessly. What better way to set up your, your home than to secure it with Alarmo? Thanks for watching. And if you have any suggestions for future videos or anything you'd like more information about, make sure you comment below. I'd appreciate it. Appreciate you watching.